Okay guys, so I'm gonna melt some aluminum so I can uh, at least melt it down and maybe do a rough pour. There's my stainless steel container with a bunch of cans. I tried melting it using a different fire, but uh, couldn't get hot enough. And I lost track of time, but you know what? I got charcoal at the bottom, put a fuel in the middle, and some kindling at the top to start it. So I'm gonna get that going and then get back to you. And hopefully you can start melting some stuff, yeah. Yeah, bit by bit she's igniting. You want all the stuff to burn on top and then hit the charcoal. And then hopefully ignites that stuff. That's what's gonna burn hot. Yeah. Okay, so I got my little stoker here. Got a stoking the fire. I'm trying to get it hotter. So I keep going. Took a bloody long while, but it's uh, finally melt. It's getting real hot. The fire is good, so it's getting there. Getting more cans in. So I had a couple extra cans flattened because it's starting to melt. It's getting there. It took a while. It took about half an hour to get some good heat going. That's starting to show signs of melting. Well, so after a good long burn, you can see all the just how much wood I burned. The cans still didn't fully melt. They did start. I put a lot of cans in there, but the melting, I think, just started to compress the cans, but they didn't actually liquefy. But they were very close. So, that didn't work. I got one more idea. I will try in the future, though. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Hey guys, so have you seen my, one of my last videos? I tried to melt aluminum, and there it is, the attempt. Didn't work. Wood wasn't strong enough, so you know what? I'm using my furnace now. I got the wood loaded up in there. On the bottom there, I got even charcoal. And once it gets going nice and hot and burning, I even got a little shitty uh, hair dryer I'm gonna use as a feeding source for air. And I'm gonna keep feeding wood air, see how much good heat I get. I got a little bit more heavy duty grill on top. And I'm hoping all the heat will just go up and it'll work a lot better. Cause it's more concentrated. It's gonna be like a funnel, like a jet shooting up instead of just dispersing all over like from my uh, fire cauldron thing. So anyway, let's get this started and melt some metal. Hope this works this time. Fire's going. Fire's going. Starting. Come on, baby. Got the blower cranking up the heat. Yeah. Oh. Starting to heat up now. See it. That's it, baby. Yeah. Turn the blower off. You can see it's a lot more heat coming. Just need a bit of a booster, that's all. So I'm gonna keep adding wood and I'll keep uh, using the blower just to heat her up. And I'll let the rest do its course. Go on. I just hope it starts melting soon. This isn't, so hopefully you know nothing. There you go. The blower head dry is pushing air in. And we're heating up. Come on, baby, stop melting. Come on. This has got to be the highest level of heat I can attain so far. It's like a furnace. If this doesn't start melting it, then I have no idea what else will. I don't think I can get much more heat than this. Let's grow. Come on, baby, start melting. Alright, so after all the big burning, it doesn't really look like the work too much. Let's see what we got here. kind of looks like it started to melt. See the shape of the bottom of the, yep, see? It started to melt, but not quite hot enough. So, clearly the fire is, doesn't seem to be hot enough unless you have a really big fire. 
So, um, that didn't work, but you guys know now that unless you have a massive fire, it probably won't work. So I got one more idea I want to try, but this is going to be a different kind of fire. And when I do, I'll post it and talk to you later. Thanks for watching. All right, so my last attempts at using wood to melt aluminum have not been really successful. It started to melt, it just started, but not enough. So I made a few modifications to the rig, put more wood in there. I uh, took the layer off because this is not glued, the bricks. And I put the grill here and I put the pot there with the blue metal. So you can see it's a lot more, it's lower and more exposed. So I'm just going to get this puppy going and I'll skip through many sessions and hopefully I can melt it. Well, as you guys can see, it's still not melted. So it's my final wood burning result using this guy anyway. But you can see that it's definitely compressing. So it's starting to melt. You remember how it was? It was right up here. Now it's all down here. Still a bit of heat left from the fire, but it's not melting. So using this and wood doesn't work. But if you get a really big fire, really hot, you could probably do it. But just not a small one. So you know what? I'm going to say it. it's done for this. And thanks for watching. Hopefully next time I will melt it down. See you later.